Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the FreeSky website. Go ahead and to this download tab right here. Go over to tool. And this is the tool you want to download. The config tool for SXR. Here it is. I'm going to download this. So I've already downloaded this. So go ahead and unzip the file and install the application. So once you have that all unzipped and installed onto your computer, go ahead and open up the SXR application. Okay, so we are ready to plug in your USB configuration tool. We're gonna be using the SDK you should have already downloaded the drivers for that. If not, they're on the FreeSky website under the download page. Move the dip switch to the configuration position and plug in your receiver cable with the correct polarity. Go ahead and plug it in. Then down here, you want to make sure you find the correct COM port. I'm in COM7. Now we're going to plug in our S6R into the S port. Should flash red the receiver. Okay, so once your S6R is plugged in, you can go ahead and check again your COM port. This checkbox right here will enable the stabilization. If it's checked, you have stabilization. If it's unchecked, it's just a regular receiver so you can go ahead and click open way you could check and see if it's connected is you go over here to accelerometer and if these numbers are moving then you are connected so let's go back to the first tab so the S6R will give you four different flight modes the first being regular stabilization which will basically take away the wind the second being auto level which will bring the wings level uh, the third will be hover which will keep it in a hover and the fourth is knife edge which will help you keep a knife edge so there are three different wing types you can choose from for your S6R the first being the traditional aileron elevator and rudder. Again make sure you plug your servo wires in accordingly. The second wing type is the flying wing or a delta wing. This wing will not allow you to use the hover or knife edge modes. And the third wing type is a V-tail which will also not let you use the hover or knife edge modes. So go ahead and choose the second tab is the mounting type. This is how you're mounting your SXR in your aircraft. So if the position of your SXR is antennas facing forward, this is the configuration you would choose. And these are other configurations you can use if you have a special install. The third tab is gain settings. In this, you can change the direction of your compensation on your ailerons, elevators, or rudder. And you could also change the gains on the gyros. I would suggest leaving this the way it is and changing it if necessary later. Fourth tab is offset angle. Basically, if you have mounted your S6R in a different position other than the positions given you can offset it here and the final tab is accelerometer calibration this tab is very important this is one step you do not want to skip so go ahead and plug your S6R into the USB port if you haven't already select your COM enable and open so the way you're going to do this is go ahead and get yourself a little box that you can place it on to keep it level. Go 
go ahead and look at the diagram and place the S6R according to the diagram. First thing you're going to do is hit calibration. The LED on the S6R should blink yellow. Once it's done blinking, that means it's done. Go ahead and click next. Move the receiver accordingly. Hit calibration. Yellow lights flash. Once they are out, it's done. Go ahead and click next. If you hit calibration and it doesn't blink yellow, go ahead and just click it again. Blinking yellow. There it is. Go ahead and click next. Calibration. Next. Calibrate. Next. Calibrate. Next. And it looks like we're all done. Okay, so once you're done with that calibration, the next thing you're going to want to do is save it. The way you're going to do that is click on right, and once it's done, it will confirm in green here. Great, we're done. Now we can go ahead and close this, unplug it from the USB, and install it in our aircraft.